Hello everybody, how's it going? Big LT here, DJ Let's Play on Big LT Radio. Welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Shield the Series. In the last episode, we need to talk because holy crap. Alright, so if you watched the last episode, we had a fight with a Volibi. And it was missing Peck. Or not Peck, uh Pluck. It was failing for some reason. I had to look this up. I had to look up its hidden ability. I had to look up Pluck. And I had to look at the video. Out of all that, there was no reason for Pluck to have failed like it did. Because the only logical thought I had was maybe it had Hustle as a hidden ability. No, it doesn't have Hustle as a hidden ability. It doesn't even have Hustle as a regular ability. I checked to see if Pluck was a 100% accurate move or wasn't. And it is a 100% accurate move. And I had to check to see if maybe somehow, and I said accuracy in the video, but somehow I raised the evasion of my teammates. And none of their evasion had been raised. So I don't know what happened, but I mean, seriously, that. <laughs> Pluck was missed for all three times. So, I don't know what was going on. But in re regardless, in the last episode, we also did some stuff around the uh, wild area. We were just doing some wild area stuff. Hence the lullaby, because we were doing the dens. But in this episode, now that I got that rant out of the way, we're going to finally register as gym challengers. Ah, Mystic Water. This is a um, item to be helped by a Pokemon and raises water type moves. We're gonna give that to Drizzile here in a second. All right, let's go ahead and give that to Drizzile because I think that would be useful on him. Give that to Drizzile. There we go. Oh, um, I'm gonna swap these two around. There. We go. All right. Going up. Uh, let's talk to you. Even though right now you don't give us something special. It's just a regular Pokeball. Might as well get that Pokeball from him. Alright. So let's go in. Apparently not along with Hop. He doesn't have to drag us this time. Apparently we have to walk in ourselves. I think that's a good screenshot that we can use for the thumbnail. I might debate on another one. I'll take it just in case when we get around to it. So there is a mysterious looking trainer right there. So apparently this is not normal for the champion to endorse two people. So anyway, this right here is going to be the uh, uniform number for your character. I am playing as Miku. I think it's only fitting that we do 3-9. Alright. Let's head out. Okay, so this guy's going to take us to the Badu Inn. Or not. I guess we got to walk there ourselves. As you probably noticed, it's actually getting dusk in here. Um, I'm not... The thing about this is that in Pokemon Sword and Shield, during the story, the weather changes, I or the time of day changes based on the story progression, I guess. So, yeah, I'm recording this in the evening, but um, I don't know. I don't know. I okay. 
I feel like I have to go all the way to a wild area to show this. I know, but we got a little time. We got a little time. We got a, little, a lot of time. It's only been five minutes, so. I will go to the wild area for a quick second and show you guys that the weather we're seeing right... That the time of day that we're seeing right now probably isn't accurate. The only, the only time it is accurate is when it's in a, it's in, it's in a wild area until the story is, is, is uh, completed. So if we go to the wild area, hopefully it doesn't show the same situation. But if it does, it's going to be a terrible explanation already. Well, it's raining. Can't really see that. Um, okay, now i got to find an area where we can see just normal weather. Hang on. Uh, okay, so over here is normal weather. I'll just go over here quickly. It shouldn't, it shouldn't take too long to get to it. This is already being a little bit of a bad example because it's raining in this spot. If we go over here for a second. There we go. So this is actually what the time of day is for me right now as I'm recording. As you can see, it's just, it's still bright out. This, it's the wild area, at least in normal weather, will always be accurate for what would be the time of day where, with your uh, Nintendo Switch's um, internal clock. So yeah, just so you know, this would we would have seen that in Moto Stoke too, but because the what the uh, time of day changes in the story itself, and, and I guess there'll be a little and we'll progress to the story a little more, and you'll see again how much it progressed. It'll take us a second because now we got to go all the way to the Badoo drop in. I am sorry for dragging you guys through that, but I felt like it was just something that needed to be shown at least for the time being. If you're not, if you have not played this game before, or not familiar with Pokemon or whatever, yeah. See, now we're back in the evening look, or the well, not eat, well, yeah, evening, dusk, whatever you want to call it. So let's get over that Badoo drop in where like we're supposed to. It's gonna take me a while. Just ride this back up. All right. To the Badoo drop in, which isn't too far away. It's actually right over here. Yep, it's like right next door. So we're gonna go right in. And look who's here. It's Sonia. So this is a statue of the uh, hero of, of the Gala region. Um, give us a short version. So there was apparently something called the Darkest Day, and the hero was accompanied by a sword and shield. So, uh, we'd be all right. All right, now let's go up here. Oh, this is some interesting gym challengers. Team Yell. Well, I'm up for that, whatever it is. Oh, I think we're gonna start, I think I started a fight. That's the thing, it's fine. So yeah, this is the evil team of the game? Zigzagoon. Galarian Zigzagoon. We already, we already have one, so I don't have to bring it up too much, but in case you need a refresher, it's normal dark type. And it's out. There's a Nicket. I think I just remember what it is. I think it's, this is just normal type. Or normal type, dark type. I think it is just dark type. 
I'd have to double check. Which I would use my phone to double check, but my phone's being used to record for you guys. Also, sorry if the um, screen's not correct on the phone, I guess. I guess as long as you see most of the screen. I I thought I got the, uh, I just saw <laughs> some of the, some of the uh, screens kind of cut off. I'm sorry about that. I had a little bit of difficulty setting up, so hopefully I'll get that fixed for next episode. And it looks like we're having a double battle. Zigzagoon and Nicket. We already know these. We already battled them. Sending out his Wooloo. Alright, um... Zigzagoon is probably a little more of a threat. Because it has Lick, I believe, and it could paralyze us if we don't take it out now. Hence why I decided to take it out now. Wow. And I, and I probably... <clears throat> I'm probably a little overpowered for this, but... Oh, well. Didn't matter if I misclick there, it'll still tag Nick it. As you see there. I might have hit the uh, vacant spot, but... It'll still, it'll still hit the Pokemon if there's no Pokemon in that spot. And we defeated Team Yell for the first time. Ooh, who are you? Marnie. So apparently, um, she's, uh, she's, her team, her, uh, her fan base apparently is Team Yell. Uh, yeah, let's do this. Alright, so I think this will say the next morning as we heal up after that battle, which makes sense. Yep, says the next morning. So... Outside, it'll be morning, so to speak. No, we don't have to battle hop, even though the music sounded like it we were going to. Alright. And... You know what? No. I could... I could... I could use the exercise. In other words, I don't I don't mind just walking there because it's literally right over here. I don't know why they need to give you an escort of all things. Alright. I mean we can go there ourselves, it's no big deal. And it saves us a little time, maybe, like a second or two. Alright. And there's our uniform with number 39. And here we go. I'll be quiet.
All right then. I was quiet long enough, I think. So anyway, I think uh, we'll, we'll be about wrapping up. There's still one more thing I want to do after we take care of this, and I think that'll be the end of the episode. I know I said my limit is 30, and it hasn't exactly... It's not exactly that close to 30 yet, but there's a reason for this. Alright, gym challenge. So this is going to be special. We'll, we'll be able to have the ability to fly using the flying taxis. Because, once again, Pokemon outdid themselves and made HMs obsolete. They DELETED the, H the HMs for a Pokemon game. And yes, I did do a broken Matt Hardy reference. I like Matt Hardy. I like Matt Hardy and I like Chris Jericho, so... Uh... No, we're at Pokemon are healed. Um... See, we're gonna. This is where we're gonna need to do something. We'll be fine. I think we'll be fine. All right, challenging Hop once again. We haven't challenged Hop since we left the Pokemon Professor's house. This is our third rival battle with him. He's got a Wooloo, like always. He's only got three Pokemon still, so. Oh, critical! I don't know if that was necessary, though, but. Because we got that uh, Mystic Water on Drizzile and. Okay, Score Bunny. Scarbunny fire type, of course, so this will be super effective. And that is out of there. Rookedy. I believe Rookedy is just. Yeah, I believe it's just flying type. Because there's a... I remember one of the uh, Route 1 birds used to be just plain flying type that was not just normal flying. I think Rookity is it. Well, I'll double check in the Pokedex. I'm sure it tells us. And I can check Nicket too, because I'm not 100% sure if Nicket is just dark type or if it is normal dark. And we're going to get Hop's League card. All right. All right, let's double check this before we get off. Go to the Pokedex. Uh, first things first, we want to look at Rookity. Yep, it's just flying type. Okay, I'll remember that. And Nicket is dark type, I figured that. And I think it was like one other, wasn't there? Or is that the only two? I think those are the only two. We scroll down farther. There's Ghastly. Farther. And there's Volibi. Okay, well, I guess that was just the only two I was more sure about. Um, you know what? We only got about nine minutes. Who the hell cares? Let's go over here. This is Route 3. I don't know if there's a Pokemon on this route that I want to catch. I'm thinking about it, but... Yeah, the only problem is it's going to take a while, and I don't have that kind of time, so... You know what? Yeah, I'll leave it off here, so... Yeah, that'll be the end of the episode. So, thank you all for watching this episode of Pokemon Shield the Series. I know it's like... 
a little less than usual, but I'm fine with this. So I'll see you guys next time. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.